Okay, so today we've got a bit of an unbagging, as it were, uh, rather than an unboxing. So this is on the Imperial Armoury Chaos Dreadnought, and this is actually the Word Bearer one. Uh, you may have seen the the uh, Black Legion one that I've painted up uh, from a previous video, but this is uh, for my Word Bearer army, and I'm really excited about this. So uh, let's see what I've got. Um, so I spent the extra, or rather my friend then spent the extra because he bought this for me, uh, and got me one of their really cool resin bases with the sand and all these really, really nice skulls in it with like bullet holes and, and cracks and sort of the way their bones are decayed and you've got the feet actually attached to the stand for this. A little bit of flash there but nothing that can't be cleared up. And uh, this is solid resin, resin base. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. None of this uh, fine car shite um, <laughs> that, that GW is putting out. Uh, which is really weird, because obviously they're in Forge World, and Forge World do this. I don't understand why if they were going to go resin, they didn't just use the Forge World mix, because it's so much better. It's so much better looking. It picks up so much more detail, and it's actually quality shit rather than that piss that they're putting out of Citadel Farm Guard. But anyway, so that's the uh, the base. I digress a little bit there, I do apologise. And then in the main bag, you get these. So this is actually three separate bags. If you're going to buy it, you don't buy it in one set. You have to buy these all individually. So the base was on its own. I think it's like 750 or something. And then you've got the main Dreadnought which is like 30 quid. And uh, you've got, that's the main body. So you've got all these lovely flames up here, scroll work, as I said, this is the word bearer one. So it's all in theme with the scroll work and everything. Really, really detailed, really nice. And uh, you've got the space for the head. There's quite a bit of flash on here. Obviously it needs to be cleaned off. Um, but that's the main body. That's the bottom, that's where the legs attach. Um, you get your legs. Uh, all the Chaos Dreadnoughts have the same legs. You've got the empty greave, these kind of spikes on top. And then you've got the greave with the star and the skull. They've all got the same legs, you can't change that. Uh, I think the... Saying that, I think the Death Guard one might have different legs. Um, but all the Stand Legions have the same legs, depending on the amount of what you buy. Same for this part, this is obviously the engines. These have, are the same on all the Chaos Dreads. Really, really nice, really detailed um, power source there. Then we've got two feet, which obviously for me are spare because I'm not going to be using them. Because um, I've got the ones on the actual base, but yeah, two spare feet. I'm just wondering if the ones on the base are actually Chaos. I hadn't noticed. Let's have a look. Yes, they are actually Chaos Feet. So he's obviously bought the Scenic Base for Chaos Dreadnought, which is a good thing, for me anyway. And um, then you've just got the Smoke Launcher that sits on top. And then you've got the uh, beautiful headpiece with all the wires behind it. Uh, it's kind of, obviously, the word bearer symbol really well done really happy with this i think it's probably the best part of the whole model um and it's just gonna be so fun to paint it's so detailed and um, then i i don't know why but he bought me the twin linked auto cannon option for it which i'm quite happy to use so no big deal there i'm just not sure why he picked this particular one uh with the screaming face and the two barrels coming out of it awesome Awesome detailing on there. Um, again, there's a bit of flash that needs taken off the back, but nothing major. Then we've got his little chainsword bayonet, uh, which is attaches on this end piece here. Sort of like that, I believe. I think it actually attaches there. Um, then you've just got a sensor, but I'm not entirely sure where the sensor goes. But uh, we'll find out. I think it goes on the underneath of the treadmill. And then we've got 
the the arm. Um, so this is the second arm. That's the main piece of it. And then you've got storm bolter option on there. You've got the pivot option that connects into there, and then you can obviously pose it a little bit better. The main chain fist blade, although it just counts as a dreadnought close combat weapon because we don't have chain fist in our book. And then you've got the flame rocks and the six underneath as well, um, which is really cool. Uh, counts as a heavy flamer, so uh, probably be using that, I think, actually. I like that idea of having a heavy flame on that. Um, so, yeah, that's the unbagging of the Word Bearer Chaos Dreadnought from Forge World. Uh, fantastic quality. Really looking forward to putting this piece together, cleaning it up, painting it. Um, bear in mind, if you buy one of these, uh, just for those who don't know out there, uh, you really need to wash them first because they get covered in this release agent um, to help them get them out of the mould. But then uh, you really need to wash it off. And this is absolutely coated in it. Um, but yeah, we'll just wash that off. Um, just soak it either... Well, there's two ways of doing it that I found work really well. Just soak it overnight in a mixture of water, cold water obviously, and um, washing up liquid. You don't really need to scrub it, but if you want to get it done a bit quicker, uh, just wash it in, again, cold water, washing up liquid, and then just use an old brush. Toothbrush will do, it won't take the detail off, uh, providing you don't use hot water or scrape too hard at it. And, uh, yeah, so that is the Word Bearer Dreadnought unbagged. Um, the only other thing to mention is, obviously... You do get a semi-instruction sheet. I say semi-instruction sheet. It's not really an instruction sheet. It just shows you what bits are what. But it doesn't actually have any put this here, put this here. It just sort of lets you work it out for yourself. It's not too complicated, though, to be honest. Um, and then it's... Uh, Forge, World put, or, Forge World put this on all of their things. Um, GW don't. But uh, it has... This is not a toy. <laughs> uh, which always makes me laugh. Um... So yeah, that's the unbagging of the Forge World Dreadnought. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to write, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.